Griffiths 5'11", 193, a redshirt sophomore. Try to buy some time here. Shovels it ahead. Claiborne has it. And a first down. Nifty play. We see a little bit of that from Griffiths. And even Justice Ellison, who's now healthy. There's pressure. Griffiths drilled. And the pass is caught by Banks. Jamal Banks in plus territory. ODU ends up sending a blitz, and they get a free rusher at the quarterback, but Mitch Griffiths just throws it up to his go-to receiver, and that's the danger that Wake Forest has had for years at receiver. And Jamal Banks, at six foot four, uses his body to shield it away from the defender. And those two came to Wake Forest at the same time. Griffiths will be sacked. Jason Henderson. This season, first turnover this season for ODU on defense for ODU. 43. Chris Trinidad is that fourth defensive line. Ellison along the left side will push his own offensive lineman away. There's not one on one at the top. You got a safety over the top, so he's going to have to come back down to the bottom of your screen. Griffiths escapes off the fake and the hesitation. Tripped up near the 25. That'll be short of the line to gain Jason Henderson. Big game right now for Wake Forest and the ACC. Here on the road to the Sun Belt, Justice Ellison. Hesitation, he'll spin ahead towards the 29. And it's a second level defender that's supposed to be blocked by a receiver that makes the play. Second time we've seen the slow mesh. Ellison will burst forward. Wilson, six of 12. He'll throw it again. Didn't turn around fast enough and it's gonna be intercepted. Evan Slocum the other way. And Slocum ripped down from behind in plus territory at the 28. How big was that? Well, it's the timing's just off on this third down play. You get Amari and Granger doesn't see the football. The ball's on his back shoulder anyway, so it's tipped into the hands of Evan Slocum. And Evan Slocum does exactly what you're supposed to do. First off, it's great hustle by Grant Wilson to have him cut back. You're always supposed to cut back on the quarterback. But the good hustle by Amari and Granger saves a touchdown there. But what a turn of events tying that game up. I got to feel like tying that game up. Florida State's just going to take off from here. See if the Deeks can do the same thing. Representing the ACC end zone. Pass will be caught. It'll be first down and goal. Wesley Grimes. And the pressure now on the Wake Forest offense. Griffiths. Try to settle things down and slow things down. Pass will be grabbed by Morin near the 40. Told us this week playing free. I said, what does that mean in your mind as a starting quarterback and in the ACC? And he said, we do all the mental reps ahead of time. I'm studying film all week long. If you're not he's, first, you are last, right? He's shaking and baking now. Indeed. Griffiths gets it to Banks across the 30. So huge drive here. Griffiths, first down. Well, shoulder pads were touched for a moment. Pocket is clean this time. Now Griffiths will take off. He'll become a ball carrier, spun down in midfield. And he came down hard, close to another first down. T-Mac, great job. Griffiths back on the field, slow mesh concept. Justice Ellison spins ahead to the 35 and a good gain on first down. Without knowing exactly. I think that was our best run of the day. At least it feels like it. Ellison weaves his way across the 40. Stopped at the 41. Try to change that in our second half. And Griffiths will dump it off to Ellison. Ushered out of the 45, T-Mac. 56 yards on the ground in the first half. And he said, not only is it important for us to get going, we will get going. Ellison gets going here in the plus territory. Close to another first down. You now watching Wake Forest, their first two games of the season, wins against Elon and Vanderbilt. They have slowed that tempo down ever so slightly this year. Punishing finish by Ellison. Three losses going back to 2020, and maybe a fourth today, given what we've seen so far. Credit to ODU, but your league's on the road a lot at the group of five. It's not a great feel if you're a fan of a team in the ACC. By, uh, by North Carolina, Georgia should be able to take advantage of that. Off the injury timeout, Griffiths slings one to the end zone. Morin's wide open, and there it is for the touchdown. 
Wake Forest on the board on its first drive of the second half. That touchdown strike from 27 yards out. And he also told her, we're going to see what we're made of. And of course, we already knew what this Wake Forest team was made of. Teaching fourth grade his whole life has been influenced in such a positive way by educators. Short kick. Fielded by James at the 20. He'll make a move. And ushered out short of the 40. Good field position for ODU. And T-Mac, Mitch Griffiths, boy, he comes from a family of teachers, right? And then when they threw it, they gave Mitch Griffiths time to go through his progression. Griffiths rips it away from Claiborne. Hit hard, and I mean pummeled crossing the 25. Mitch Griffiths' legs involved. Get your quarterback a little more into the game after an up-and-down first half. And there goes Claiborne. He'll try to get to the edge. Finally does. It's enough for a first down. Boy, it felt like that could have been a lot more for a moment. They think they're in a good position. Morin in motion. A three-wide receiver set on second down. Morin will get it. Just caught a touchdown moments ago. He'll get a first down here. Second and 21. Clean pocket for Griffiths. Morin has it again. Eludes one defender. There was a sense of calmness and collectability, and guys, he's starting to panic. You can feel it down here on the sideline. He'll dump it off here. There goes Grimes. Wesley Grimes into plus territory, and he runs out near the 40. That time for the Deeks. Yeah, but it cost Mitch Griffiths. He stood in the pocket, delivered this ball, took another big hit, got up limping a little bit. Wesley Grimes with the big play, but quarterback showing a lot of toughness. Ellison will bounce it outside with a stiff arm. Stays in bounds. Another first down for Wake Forest on the ground. Ellison healthy. Good mush. This is not a great thing to have happen to you. Ellison to the edge. Ellison. Gain of nine, maybe ten more. Down 17 now and driving. Second and one slow mesh. Ellison races ahead. Didn't need much. He didn't gain much. Field goal team on the field. Matthew Dennis, a 36-yarder. This would make it a two-score affair once again. And on the way and true. Oh, Dennis, a redshirt sophomore from Charlotte. Not many players have done what he's done in a single game. James sent down to the 26 down the field and see if you can get something. Banks five catches, 59 yards. Slow mesh. And the handoff, Claiborne. There he goes. The speed on display in Demond Claiborne. Grimes in the 6-2 frame. Manned up in the end zone, front pylon. Griffiths will try to escape and buy some time, and he cannot. Sacked all the way back at the 20. And it's, this is really a coverage sack. It's a nice job on the back end of covering up all the receivers and just gives the defensive lineman time. Only one miss on the season, and that time bangs it through. You saw the four sacks, but the number of pressures have to be at least double that. A little pace and space. Hang and bang, slow mesh. Things in the pocket despite all the hits he's taken and delivers a strike. First down, Ellison to the edge, and then some. Justice Ellison stays alive. And a good delivery by Mitch Griffiths. Griffiths told us this week, me and Jamal Banks are so close. We've been here forever. It's our time. He'll heave one deep. He has a man. That's a touchdown for Morin. Taylor Morin to the end zone is second score of the afternoon, and the Deeks are back in it. And our new score, 24 to 20, 45 remaining in this one. Well, this is what makes this play, the slow mesh, so hard. The safeties get caught with their eyes in the backfield. We just saw a couple of those completions on this drive. Back to the air. Not this time. Roberts again. Ball pops out. And for the moment, Wake Forest has it. First down and goal at the six. Jasheen Davis came up with a fumble. And another massive momentum shift in this one for Wake Forest when it felt like they needed it the most. Jacob Roberts lined up down on the line of scrimmage. 
Ball certainly looks like it's out before Grant Wilson's leg hits the ground. But he wraps all the way around, does Jacob Roberts. And then the wherewithal to get his arm in there and rip the ball out. Massive play by this Wake Forest defense. The Deeks have been stifling in this second half. And Brad Lambert, who he talked about Jacob Roberts this week, we asked about not having Chase Jones. Under seven to go. Griffiths rolls out. Griffiths to the end zone. Banks is there. And there was some contact. He created the separation. Because it was probably a hold before that by the defender. Then you get a little push off. So far on this Saturday afternoon in Norfolk. Here comes Lamarian James. He scored twice today on defense. Not this time on special teams, Kevin Connors. What do you have? Jason Henderson in this defense make a play. Banks will make it third and medium Taylor you talked about Jason Henderson he had to get his defense together with a rallying cry and said we still have this game especially as we've gotten into it third down and five Griffiths retreats into the flats first down Wake Forest Williams Old Dominion with three timeouts remaining deep handoff Claiborne against the grain across the 35 and nice running for the league rather yeah there's a lot of talk around the league about whether or not you should even be playing these games the ACC plays them more than anybody a lot of that has to do with the finances of the departments the athletic departments in the ACC not wanting to pay the million plus to have a team like Old Dominion come to you so you do the home and home you put yourself at risk though when you go on a road anywhere especially against a good team from the Sun Belt. This Wake Forest team, especially offensively, did everything they could to sleepwalk through this game until late into that second half. But the defense and the special teams kept them in it. Dave Clawson's team rallies from a 17-0 halftime deficit and holds on to win on the road by a final score of 27-24. Got to say, gritty performance by Mitch Griffiths. He got battered today. There were times where we didn't think he was coming back. He was fantastic, though, when it mattered. Wake Forest remains undefeated in 2023. Mitch Griffiths throws for 312 yards, the three touchdowns, and he survived a monster performance by this ODU defense through the first three quarters. 27-24, our final score. Yeah. Try to take away.